Fair Trade, in essence, is all about helping small family farmers in developing countries get organized and develop their business skills in order to tap into the world market directly. When they sell direct, they can make two, three, even four times more. And of course, with more revenues, they're able to develop their communities, keep their kids in school, create scholarship programs, bring electric lighting to their villages for the first time. Fair trade isn't a product. Fair trade isn't a brand. Fair trade's a story. Clearly farmers are the big winners in the fair trade model. They're making more money, they're doing it in a way that really requires them to develop business skills so they're becoming much more sustainable and independent. They're taking care of their land and their ecosystems much better so they're leaving something behind for future generations. The change that we noticed before the commerce and now with the commerce is que cuanto mejor calidad de café producimos, recibimos un mejor precio. Ya se recogiendo los rojos y cuanto más rojos estén, mejor calidad es el café. Our motto is based on empowerment of communities to take care of themselves, to take care of their ecosystems. It's a market linkage model, essentially recreating what you might think of as a farmer's market gone global. So we're not trying to turn back the clock on globalization and we're not closing our eyes to the reality of the global economy. Rather, we're trying to find ways to harness the power. ¿Por qué? Porque los precios serían mejores para nosotros. ¿Por qué? Porque nuestros hijos podrían recibir más dinero por becas para estudiar. We've heard globalization, this era that we live in, described by many as the race to the bottom. And what that means is U.S. companies have gone overseas looking for the cheapest labor they could find and the lowest environmental standards that they can get away with. Farmers and workers in the developing world have been on the bad end of that logic. In globalization, the interests of farmers and, and companies are kind of at odds. So companies up here make more money when they pay farmers less. Well, fair trade breaks that contradiction, aligns the interests of farmers and industry so that actually companies here do quite well by paying farmers more. And in fact, fair trade is growing so fast and so many consumers have stepped up and are buying the product. What we hear back from the companies we work with is fair trade is hot. Fair trade is the fastest growing segment of the coffee industry today. So they're coming out of it doing quite well. We want companies to feel like it's in their own interest to do fair trade as well as in the interest of the farmer. I'm Stephanie Steiner. I'm the grocery buyer merchandiser for PCC Natural Markets in Seattle, Washington. I have the responsibility of determining which dry grocery, dairy, frozen, and household products we carry. We're offering an incredibly high quality product, but we've thought about everything else that comes with it. So I'm not just telling you it's incredibly high quality and sacrificing a farmer or his family. This is a way for me and a way for the consumer to be sure that their dollars are supporting a system that's been checked and verified. Fair trade for me, Fair Trade Coffee, was, um, was our ability to physically manifest doing the right thing. It was really doing the right thing, not talking about the right thing or feeling like we were doing the right thing. It was really doing the right thing and it was easy. I was able to create an entirely fair trade, shade grown, organic coffee set by simply starting conversations with people and saying, this is where I'm going and I'd really like you to be part of it. And everyone was able to source fair trade coffee for me. 
it wasn't a challenge. So we have the ability to do the right thing for so many people and we have not dissatisfied anybody in the process. We've done something tremendous simply by choosing to do it. So every consumer has the exact same power when they make that choice for each individual purchase. They just have to choose to relentlessly pursue the possibility. That's it. We're the only certifier here in the United States, so we are tasked with auditing and certifying the supply chain and providing credibility around this claim that farmers received a better price through fair trade. Transfer does several things. One, it audits us, so we have to not only report what we purchased in terms of green coffee, but what we sold in terms of finished goods. That allows us to essentially track the flow of goods through the international supply chain and create what in the certification business is called traceability. So being able to say the beans in this coffee bag can be traced all the way back to Juan Perez in Costa Rica. We know that he is the grower. We know that he received a fair price. We are the University of Washington Fair Trade Coffee Coalition and we're a group of students who are really concerned with fair trade issues. We have a cafe on campus called Parnassus and they approached us a few months ago and said they were interested in making the switch over to fair trade certified coffee. So we talked with them, we connected them with some coffee roasters and they made that switch. Since making the switch to fair trade coffee we've seen an increase of sales in part due to customers who were not interested in the cafe before, so I think it's opened up our markets. But also our existing customers who are still consuming, but consuming with a better conscious. Basically, a simple purchase of a cup of coffee really contributes something to the global system, and it says something about what you believe in. I just think it's a really effective way of change, of creating change, and people respond to that. They want to put their money into places that are positive. Hi, I'm Stone Gossard from Pearl Jam, and you're watching Fair Trade, the story on EQTV. Here's a positive model for change. Here's Fair Trade. This changes the world, and it's going to help your business, too. So do this, and we'll reward you by giving you our business. We, the consumers, are going to reward you by buying your coffee, buying your bananas, buying your chocolate, and making this thing really work for you. They're getting a better deal, they're getting more money for what they're producing, and it just seems like the right thing to do.